No trip to Wiltshire would be complete without a trip to one of the White Horses. And that's where we're off to now. Um, the Sharehill White Horse. I think it was created around about 1790. A lot of people sort of think they're a lot older. Um, sort of Neolithic times, but they're not actually. A lot of them were created in 1700, even more recently. Anyway, we're walking up this lane towards it. It's a bit of a monument on the top of here. Whether I go up to the monument is another thing, but the earthworks here are great. So we're just walking up this lovely tree-lined, almost like an avenue, if you like. Um, hope it's nice and shady, nice and cool, which is cool for me. I'm a, I'll have that. We've no sighting. Of the horse, oh, I think I might be able to see the horse. It's funny when you look at it from a distance, it does look a lot smaller. <laughs> but I'm coming up to it now, and this looks quite big. So we're coming up to the gate where we'll get the full view of it. Hello and welcome to another episode of Steve's Monumental Adventures and today's video we look at the Sharehill White Horse. The Sharehill White Horse is located on Sharehill Down which is 3.5 miles from the town of Colm in Wiltshire. The horse was first cut in 1780 by Dr Christopher Alsop from Colm. The horse measures 165 feet by 220 feet. The Sharehill White Horse has been restored many times, such as 1935, 1994 and 2002. The horse is now cared for by the National Trust and it's one of eight different white horses in the area. In 2016 and 2017, on the fields below the White Horse at Share Hill, a strange thing happened. Two crop circles appeared, and that wasn't just the first ones, they appeared year after year after year. So that's the question, has the farmer just been really busy? 
But between 2013 and 2017, many crop circles have been um, constructed in the fields around this particular area. Is it aliens or is it an eccentric farmer? I'll leave the choice up to you. Hill White Horse, and uh, that's one big hill completely made of chalk. And obviously, they've scraped, the, scraped it away so it contrasts with the grass. It is that simple. Anyway, we're off to our next destination, which is Avebury, where a stone circle has literally been, or the town has grown up around, inside and around a ancient stone circle. <laughs> 